Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about You by Austin Grossman. <clears throat> when Russell joins Black Arts Games, brainchild of two visionary designers who were once his closest friends, he reunites an eccentric crew of nerds hacking the frontiers of both technology and entertainment, meaning video games. <clears throat> In part, he's finally given up chasing the conventional path that has always seemed just out of reach. But mostly he needs to know what happened to Simon, his strangest and most gifted friend who died under mysterious circumstances, soon after Black Arts' breakout hit. Then Black Arts' revolutionary next-gen game is threatened by a mysterious software glitch, and Russell finds himself in a race to save his job, Black Arts' legacy, and the people he has grown to care about. The bug is the first clue in a, mystery, in a mystery leading back 20 years through real and virtual worlds, corporate boardrooms, and high school computer camp to a glit, to a secret that changed a friendship and the history of gaming. The deeper Russell digs, the more dangerous the glitch appears. And, and soon Russell comes to realize there is much more to, at stake than just one software company's bottom line. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, anyway, uh, the, uh, honestly, the main story is kind of hard to follow. It's basically just, uh, this corporates, uh, and these groups of nerds, like, journey developing video games throughout the history of, well, video games, you know. <clears throat> and the software glitch is this thing that, uh, is supposed to be like this whole, uh, is like this dark sword or whatever that makes you invincible, but it like drains away life and uh, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> and uh, but any anyway, um, really the whole like interest of this game lies in the um, you know like the you know all of the talk, like, talking about like all of the complicated intricacies of like making a video game, you know like. Um, like, they're talking about this glitch, and there'd be constantly, like, people, like, fans talk about on, like, forums, like, how they can, like, use the, use this black, dark sword thing to live forever, whatever. You know, then there's, um, you know, different t talks about, like, uh, character designs, say, you know, like, like, say you have a regular character, and, like, you can have them, like, there's, like, walking animations, running animations, uh, another frame for standing still. And, um, you know, just, uh, then there's also the complications in, like, having to, like, designing the environments or designing levels, you know. There's one uh, instance where they talk about in the, <clears throat> in the, in here where they have, um, there's one instance where, like, you're a wizard and, like, they want you to, like, shoot down a tree or whatever, but then there'll be, like, they'd, they'd be, like, Players who would be like trying to find like their own ways of getting past an ob that obstacle, the river, and um, they'd be like, um, "Oh well, I'll just uh, like we want you to like knock down this tree and cross the river that way." But then it'd be like, "Oh, well, I'll just swim across." Oh, can't swim. Oh, well, I'll use a, a levitation spell le to levitate myself across, or something like that. Or no, no, wait, it wasn't like a that. It was like. Using a, there's like a, a bridge or something. You have to go to a bridge first, but then it was like, oh, you know, like, I'll swim across. I'll levitate across. I'll uh, use a bridge as a raft and float my way over. And you know, like, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> and there's also the um, one particular. It's, it's where like they have this uh, fictitious fantasy RPG game series, and like they just think about how. Um, the whole, uh, the whole, um, you know, series can sometimes have, um, people who are like, um, like the, when the game will, like, will start out, you know, they'll just probably be not really thinking too much about the lore or whatever, but then, like, uh, several years and several installments later, there will be, like, all sorts of fan debates and, like, all this other stuff, and it'll wind up turning into, the, like, this big, huge thing, and, um, one such example would be 
a, a real life example would be like the Legend of Zelda franchise. Like, I don't think they like they don't really uh, actually have the whole timeline thing like planned out from the beginning. It was just like a this thing of like ah let's just uh, put a bunch of this like I don't like they were probably just thinking that it was just to be a bunch of standalone type games with like Link just being like this amorphous everyman type character and then you know then it kind of turned into this big universe and then they released the Hyrule story and yeah <clears throat> and um and you know really and but back to the book um like like I said you know it's it's just uh like if you're not really a gamer you're probably not gonna care so uh about like all this other stuff because because like that's where the big uh, interest is and uh, yeah so as a result I give this a three out of five recommended if recommended if you are a gamer if you're a gamer you're going to love this book it's going to be you're gonna think that it's fantastic if not then I probably wouldn't recommend it it's just uh, yeah Anyway, uh, next time I'm going to be talking about a different kind of gaming. Not video gaming, but live-action role-playing gaming. Until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome by, you know, supporting your local libraries and bookstores with your patronage and money and whatever. And have a nice day.